Pole position for the 60th running of the Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona has gone to defending winners Wayne Taylor Racing and their number 10 Konica Minolta Acura ARX05, which is set to be started by Felipe Albuquerque, with the number 5 JDC Miller Motorsports Cadillac of Tristan Vautier lining up alongside them on the front row. Row 2 features Jimmy Johnson starting the number 48 Ally Cadillac alongside Tom Blomqvist in the number 60 Maya Shank Racing with Kerber JG and Acura. It's a Cadillac Racing lockout on row 3, with Renga van der Zander and Alex Lynn set to start the Chip Ganassi Racing Run entries, whilst Tristan Nunes and the 2021 Championship winning number 31 Whelan Engineering Racing Cadillac rounds out the DPI field on the inside of row 4. Joining the 31 is the LMP2 pole sitting, number 52 PR1 Matheson Motorsports Orica of Ben Keating, who won last year's LMP2 title, with the sister number 11 lining up on the inside of row 5 alongside the number 68 G-Drive Racing by APR entry. High Class Racing and Dragon Speed USA share row 6, with Racing Team Nederland and the second G-Drive Racing by APR car on row 7 and Tower Motorsports and United Autosports line up on row 8. Defending LMP2 winners Era Motorsport will start last in the class on the inside of row 9, alongside the LMP3 pole city Andretti Autosport Ligier of Jarrett Andretti. Mjolnir Motorsports America's number 6 entry and AWA are on an all-decane row 10, with 47 Motorsports decane and the Ligier of Sean Creech Motorsport making up row 11. Row 12 features the second Milner Motorsports America entry to the inside of the Performance Tech Motorsport Ligier, whilst defending LMP3 winners Riley Motorsports will start on the inside of Row 13 alongside the Ligier of Core Autosport, which rounds out the prototype field. On GTD Pro Pole is Andrea Calderelli in the Lamborghini of TR3 Racing, which will share the front row with Matthew Yamane in FAF Motorsports Porsche last year's GTD champions making the step up to the pro class. After charging through the field in the qualifying race, Austin Sindrick should be one to watch from the inside of row 15 in the Proton USA Mercedes, with GTD pole sitter Russell Ward lining up on the outside for defending winners Winwood Racing and their Mercedes. The McLaren 720S GT3 makes its Rolex 24 debut from the inside of row 16 thanks to Crucial Motorsports, with Heart of Racing Team's GTD Aston Martin starting on the outside. It's an all-Lexus affair on row 17, with the number 14 Pro Vassa Sullivan entry starting ahead of the pro Am number 12, while Sun Energy 1 and their GTD Mercedes start just ahead of last year's GTLM winners, the number 3 Corvette Racing Chevrolet on row 18. The Mercedes of Allegra Motorsports and McLaren of Inception Racing share row 19, ahead of the Lamborghini of Debutant Peregrine Racing and the number 4 Corvette. WeatherTick Racing will have a great photo opportunity thanks to Row 21, which features both their number 79 Porsche and number 97 Mercedes, after both had post-race penalties from the qualifying race, and behind them are the Aston Martins of Magnus Racing and Northwest AMR. KCMG start down on Row 23 after refuelling issues for their GTD Pro Porsche during the qualifying race, alongside the Wright Motorsports Porsche, with Ferraris locking out row 24. The Chetelar Racing entries on the inside, with Risi competitors only starting on the outside. The first of the brand new BMW M4 GT3 starts 49th on the grid, this the number 25 entry, alongside the second TR3 Racing Lamborghini, with the second of the Rahal Letterman Lanigan ran cars, starting last in GTD Pro and 51st overall sharing the row with Team Hardpoint's Porsche. GMG Racing's Porsche and Gradient Racing's Acura share row 27, with AF Corsa's Ferrari and NTE Sports Lamborghini lining up on row 28. Team TMG's Porsche is on the inside of Turner Motorsports BMW on row 29, with Heart of Racing Team's number 27 Aston Martin and T3 Motorsport North America's Lamborghini sharing row 30. And last but not least, Gilbert Courthoff Motorsports are set to round out the field after a grid penalty for changing a driver aboard their Mercedes between the qualifying race and Rolex itself.